Hey guys, Finlox here, back with our blind playthrough of In Other Waters. Let's continue about the same as last time, yeah. Transitioning, oh god. <laughs> Alright. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Sounds stupid, but I remember, um... I don't know if it's a meme or just an image I saw someone post it, they're like like them contacting the developer, they're like, hey, you know, I want to support, uh, you know, uh, transgender or, or whatever people. Do you have any on staff in the developer response? They're like, yeah, we have, we have several. And they're like, oh, great, thanks. And then it shows them like, unwish list or ignore this game or something like that. It's kind of funny. Strange stalks, objects, observations, beds of these creatures coat the pale rocks or these plants or animals. They are unlike any earth coral or sponge. I, I'm really curious also if um, if they actually had any um, like they had a biologist or, or something that they referenced. You know, um, just just curious. Who knows? I would almost suspect not, but... Yep, kid, kidnap them. What were those creatures? They were hidden among the stalks. Quickly, try to get a scan. I mean, it's too late. And that's them, isn't it? I can't... I can't click on them. Wait. I hit scan again, and all of a sudden you could scan them? Okay, I guess so. Agile creatures striped with luminous... These are such lively, cle lively creatures and so colorful, too. I'll start logging my observations. Great, I, I guess. Striped with luminous colors, like, let me get back to what I was doing before you interrupted me. Uh, flexible, flapping creatures move rapidly throughout the water with little effort. Dr. Ellery Voss. Reminds me of, um... Was it Fallout New Vegas? You started finding these. Um, I think it was Nipton. Uh, you started finding these like journal entries, and the dude would sign them. And every time you found a new one, he would have added an additional title or something to his name. Mayor so something something the third. Creatures appear to be appear to maneuver with a series of siphon jets concealed beneath their folded mantles. They are incredibly fast. That's great. Also, how are we scanning them? You know, are they? If we're are we scanning them by sonar? If so, like that's the thing. It's it's you can't measure something without affecting it somehow. So are we using X-rays? You know, killing these a bunch of microscopic things or possibly giving them cancer or are we scanning them with with sonar and they respond to sound and so they're you know confused or whatever just being here just being here is disrupting the environment that they claim to care about and the other thing i thought about this too you know um and and again i guess call me misogynistic if you wish i don't think women could ever be true environmentalists the majority of women i think some could but well the majority of people in general don't think um you know a woman that needs a new pair of shoes every week is not you know or or the latest iphone they don't care about the environment not really they claim they do for the you know for the clout or the social so uh what do they call whatever for the, the social approval, but they don't really care. You know, take dudes, for example, though. What do you guys do if you if you go running and it's time to retire your running shoes, like you need a new pair of running shoes every six months or whatever? What do you do with those old running shoes? They become your day-to-day -day shoes, don't they? They become your painting shoes or they become the shoes that you could tear up without any issues. And that's... That's my point. You know? You never hear these environmentalist women 
talking about, hey, maybe we should, um, maybe we should reduce the level of technology, right? Maybe sh we should not, you know, get the latest smartphone. Maybe we shouldn't be mining all these toxic chemicals, right? No, they're, they're, they're like, no, 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 we need the Tesla. We need the electric cars. Oh, you mean the ones that poison the earth to mine, that strip mine, and then you get all these, uh, these byproducts from harvesting and refining these toxic metals? And then when the batteries are used, now we don't have anywhere to store them, so we just throw them into landfills and, again, poison the earth even more. And then you take that electricity from electric cars, and where does that come from? Oh, from the coal power plants? You know, it's like, it drives me insane. People, that's what I mean. Like, people don't actually care. They don't think. It's just, they do whatever feels good for them. So, anyway, and, and you know, we see it here. Also, that brings up another good point. This person's immediate thought was, let's go exploring. Not, oh my god, I'm, I'm stranded out here. Um, not, let's go back to base with a, with a you know... My suit's occupied by a sketchy AI that doesn't match any normal stuff. Is it going to fail on me? No, it's just, oh, let's, I mean, I realized there wouldn't be a game if we just immediately turned around and head back to base and she got a different suit. But, uh, you know, just, just a thought. I know. I know I'm being petty and pedantic and all that stuff, but I, again, it's, it's better than me being like, whatever, I don't care. Bed of stalks, fungal creature made up of a series of stalks and plates attached to the rock. These stalks are beautiful. I wonder how they feed, how they grow, how they communicate. <coughs> Define communicate. This place, this planet needs to be studied. Keep scanning creatures and I'll keep notes. Do my work, slave. Fun Jesus Christ. Once we've gathered enough data, I can name and log each species. No matter what happens here, this is vital work. I need to name these things and take credit for their discovery, okay? Get to work. Fungal creature, finally, thank you. I can read this stuff. Made up of a series of stalks and plates attached to the rock. Color ranges from dark amber to acid yellow. Signed, Dr. Ellery Voss. Esquire. Bed of stalks. This creature's external membrane appears to be made of layers of chitin, like earth arthropods or fungi. Dr. Ellery Voss, Esquire the Third. Uh, I mean, see how silly it is? You don't notice it because it's there every time, but you're... It's there. Stock patch, sample candidate observations. Stocks here are furred with spores which appear to have drifted down from the northern part of the reef. Dr. Ellery Voss, xenobiologist extraordinaire. How do I know, like, okay, so I know that I've scanned that one, but have I gone there? Uh, bed of stalks creature observations. I'm seeing a complex pattern of contracting, expanding slits in the stalks membrane, mouths, or sensing organs. I don't know. You'd probably have to cut them open to find out, though, wouldn't you? I'm not saying that as a... As a jab, it's like you would have to do that. But you claim to be a biologist that's... Oh, but you know, it's the price that we pay for learning. It's... Yeah, tell me more about the, the PETA CEO. Or PETA in general, where they just kill 99% of the animals. That they rescue. Because they don't believe in animal adoption. They'd rather kill them than... Uh, you know, adopt them out because they consider pet ownership to be slavery, animal slavery and cruelty, so they'd rather just just put them down. I'm not joking about that, by the way. Oh, and by the way, you know, despite that stance, the, uh, the CEO, she's diabetic. Where do you think she gets her insulin from? It's from pigs. It's from pigs, if you didn't know. Alright, let's go here so she can tell me that we're not gonna leave until we get another sample. Uh. These stocks are covered in spores of all sizes. Perhaps we could sample one of the larger ones. I'm in position. You'll have to take the sample. How 
I know I'm in position. You'll have to take the sample open up the sampling utility. I know you're in position. I moved you here. How is it that you locked out the, the controls for the suit? All right. Oh God, this is like the worst of the stupid. We've got on biological samples are vital tools for analyzing and understanding creatures. You say so. But this suit should also allow you to deploy any sample back into the ocean. But then how are we going to dissect it? How about you test it out? Hold and drag over the central compass. And we have to, otherwise, again, we won't leave. What did what did that do for us, though? What did doing this thing? Like, I didn't see any... Oh. No, it's funny, because we do have to bring them back to the lab, don't we? So she's here, here pretending that... Yeah. Because otherwise... Right, that's what it says. You bring the samples back to the lab to study them. Great, that's working as it should. Okay. <sighs> Look, those creatures are coming for the spores. Why these ones in particular, I wonder? Because you've contaminated them. They're weak now. They're prey. Perhaps different spores carry different compounds, each with a specific purpose or message. Oh my god, the planet's alive! What do you think? Could the spores be a way of communicating between different colonies? I'm, uh, gonna ignore you on this one. I don't... Um... Uh, I'll say no. No? Perhaps further study is needed. It wouldn't be irregular for fungi to form a communication network. I, I, I have to respond if, if we're gonna get more stuff, even though... Anyway, sorry, I'm not sure why I... I'm not sure why I'm talking to you. You're just a tool. I'm just lonely, I guess. <laughs> but, uh... What are you sorry about, you know? But no, um... That's that's a legitimate thing where it's like this thing is it's marked now and now you're going to um you've caused the death of an innocent being allegedly right because um what is it they wanted to study zebras and so they they painted an X on the zebra and then that one got attacked and killed by lions because it it stood out zebras themselves stand out but they they're together and they're hard to, um, you know, they themselves, they blend in with each other. But by marking that one, by trying to study, they cause the death of it, right? The other thing is, if this, this planet's alive, does it want her here? I bet that's never considered, right? We have to save this planet. It's a living being. Well, does it want you here? Does it like you? Never considered that, did you? Bet of stocks, these colonies are producing uh, a shifting hum. Perhaps there's a form of communication between individuals. That's actually something that um, uh, Alpha Centauri, the game, talked about. It's like you you land, you you go there to settle, and the planet's like, no, we don't want you here. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing spores entering and exiting the slits on the surface of the sock. Something is being exchanged. Dr. Ellery Voss extraordinaire. And if you think that's silly, then why does she... She already signs it. She signs it twice. Like signing it once isn't enough? Smooth boulder object. This huge rock sits among the layers of lichen. Could have been thrown here during a volcanically active period in the planet's history. Are you a... Geo uh, who knows? What are what's the study of rocks and movement? Okay. Uh, colonies seem to be broken up in individual patches and then larger groups over a wide area. Why is it it makes me scan these things twice? 
New species logged. Reef stalks. Fungal creature. Oh, God. I'm uploading my initial notes. Let's call these reef stalks. We can classify the species in the lab. Okay. That's not a name, though. Whatever. I mean, I work with doctors. They all want to name shit after themselves anyway. Fungal creature communicates through sound and spores in interlocking ecosystems seeded across the reef. You say so. Uh, silent clearing feature. What is it that dictates the reef's growth pattern? Sunlight, the flow of water, whatever it is, it must be absent here. How do you know? Oh, that's the wrong button. How do you know it's absent there? It doesn't have to be, you know, maybe it's predators. Uh, let's go here. I think that's the one where she asks us the stupid question. And we have to say yes, because if you say no, I guarantee she's going to be like, well, who's in a bad attitude or something? Like, I want to say, actually, maybe we should. Well, no, because I don't think we can quit without it saving. Oh, what's up, Jack? Okay, stock patch sample candidate. Among these spore clogged stocks are piles of small stones. Could creatures gather them here or just the currents? Isn't that. They already said that? They said it in a different way. Uh, sampling available. Okay, do you do you want us to take one? Is that what you're telling me? She's like, oh yeah, take take one of these samples. Don't release that one. What is this? Link. Request retrieval. Map data. All right. I assume these are going to be just because you know I tried. I tried. Um, I know at some point we go back to base. I assume this is just like a like a timer, right? And if you screw up, then you go back to the base earlier. Oh, oh, that was so scary. I had to do an override. Let's not do that again. Uh, sampling available. I, I know. I know this. You told me already. Uh, okay, southern nursery protected by the ridges from protected by the ridges from the strong northern currents could be a safe haven that's not proper english this could be a safe haven for younger softer species i'd almost wager or no maybe that's maybe that's correct i don't know go hear more of those stupid things do we have to Flitting around the reef, these creatures chase stock spores with great enthusiasm. Is this their primary food source? Is that the same thing we've already said? Data gathered. I assume we have to click on multiples. Agile creature. Creature. These creatures aggressively pursue certain spores, but ignore others completely. Okay. Um. One of the reviews. So, I don't know. I read 10 reviews, something like that. And spore flow. Spores from the main part of the reef are brought into the southern nurseries here by a steady current. Dr. Ellery Voss, extraordinaire. No one has seen this before but me. And yes, I'm gonna, it gets tedious to me even, but I, it's important to know she's signed these things multiple times, like twice. It's like, it may be new to you, but to her it's ego. That's the character. Um. Shit, what was I gonna say? Um. I don't know. It's not important. Let's go here. She'll ask me her stupid. Hey, can I ask you a question? I ignored her the last time. She's like, forget it. Oh, yeah. It's. If I say no, like, you have to say yes if you wanna. If you want to get more of the flavor text, because if you say no, she'll be like... I want to see what she says, because she probably won't be like, well, aren't we in a bad attitude or something like that. Like, she's not going to say that, but... I mean, I would hope. <sighs> yeah, just... Hey, can I ask you something? Well, we can't move until I say yes, I guess. 
I've worked with AI programs before, but you aren't like them. This should have been at the beginning. They are predictable, programmatic, dull. Their intelligence allows them to log and process data, that's all. But you, you are different. I feel like you are alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? I guess. Then you are different. Glad I'm not just imagining it. See, this should have been when she's like, are you an operator? And I lied. But what are you in? What are you doing in this suit? Those are great questions. But when she's like, oh, are you the operator? And I was like, yes. And she's like, I don't believe you. You just rescued me. And that's when I was like, I'm trying to, where's the self-destruct? Fine, don't believe me, boom. You know what I mean? It should not have been, I feel like that's a stupid response because any, I feel like a normal person, even if you had doubts, you would have been like, oh, okay. And then you get the ability to later, you're like, hey, what do you think about this? Hey, you know, like, like she just said, I've worked with AI programs before. They normally don't respond like that. Are you different? You know? You don't... You don't even need to... Uh, again, it feels like... It feels like they're doing tell, don't show. It should be show, don't tell. How you do that as a writer... When that's all you have is... Well, you have to be a good writer, I suspect. I would say... I, I don't have high hopes. I think this is going to be pretty ham-fisted, but we'll see. Northern current feature, current running here into the, running into the reef slows here, but the further north the water whips down the rift with incredible speed. Okay. Um, right, so last, the first episode, I just ignored everything because I hated the bitch. I still do. Um, what, uh... But that, that's that's why now I'm like, yes, we have to say, we have to say yes. Because otherwise I think, I think the story will progress, but will not be included. You know what I mean? To be like, forget it. And then you get to the, the end and she's like, I knew all along you were a different AI. You're not an AI, you're whatever. It's like, as we talked about all those times and shared all those memories, you mean so much to me. And I'm like, wait, I've been ignoring you this whole time. That's why I think there's not going to be multiple endings or, or whatever, you know? Well, kitties are going for the, the cat bed finally. That's good. I just don't think they're going to account for the other responses. I think it's going to be the same regardless. Which is dumb to me. Long rift, wide and long with sheer rock walls on either side. This deep rift channels unpredictable currents. Cool. Can we, uh... Are we going to die if we go in there? <sighs> well, which way do we go? Presumably along the rift or... Overgrown arch. This arch is covered in hardened stalks. Perhaps the slow current passing through brought their spores to settle here. We got bigger things, I guess. Large stalk creature. Static creature made up of one... These huge stalks are incredible. Each one a vertical ecosystem. They are leaking spores into the water as the fruiting bodies attach to their skin bloom. Okay, so you actually have some basic knowledge of fungi. Um, I'm glad I don't have to click on these because we've already researched them fully, I guess. Okay, set a creature made up of one huge flexible stalk. Unclear if swaying is due to current or is produced by the stalk's own body. I mean... I don't know how that's unclear. You have the technology to scan it from this distance. Presumably, you'd have the technology to... Like, you could look at the spores 
around it and do some math, right? Oh, is it moving on its own? I can't tell. It's like, well, what does the current look like? Like, why is that? Okay. Do I want to go this way? Do I want to go this way? I assume one of them's a dead end, one is not. I don't know. Many of these stalks are leaking particles into the water as they sway. Are these spores or something else? Can you not scan them? Like, this is the future technology thing. These larger stalks sway all around this basin. They are almost resembling... They almost resemble branchless trees bending in a storm. Manny is in the cat bed. That does make me happy. Did you see that? The stalks responded to our movement. I did not. They extend as we pass through the arch. Perhaps it was the sound we made when we moved through. I don't know. How do you test that? Do other things make sound? We should be careful not to get trapped here. This suit's power capacity is limited. Oh, well, apparently you can override a dead battery, though, so... The chitin of the stalk's membrane is very hard, but flexibility is given by a surface of overlapping plates. I mean, how is it? How are you saying it's a fungus when it has a shell like an insect does? Whatever. We should be careful not to be trapped here. Fuck off. Uh, feeding grounds. There's a lot of activity among the rocks ahead. Creatures are grazing on and living among the stalks, forming a complex ecosystem. Look over to the southwest. That stock is totally calcified. Looks like a good sample candidate. See, again, we're... Okay. Which one? This one? Southwest? Do we know that this is southwest? Uh, plates of the stock surface passing over one another must be producing the distinctive hum that can be heard. Shelled creature, mobile creature with a large translucent shell, and these creatures have such beautiful translucent shells. I'll start logging data on them as we find them. Great. Large translucent shell and four swimming appendages, which it uses in a rapid rowing motion. These creatures must be related to this other stalks in the reef, but seem to have a separate purpose on the lower beds, to the lower beds. It's safe to assume that the singing of these stalks relates to the communication between the colonies seen elsewhere on the reef. You know what they say about assuming. How, how do you assume that exactly? Um, okay, you want to take a sample of this stupid one? Calcified stalk. This huge stalk is totally still. It's place hardened into a rocky shell. Can it be revived, or is this what death looks like here? I don't know, but we're going to disrupt it. So we might never know. This stalk looks dead. Open up the sampling pan panel and we can extract some of the outer membrane. Again, there you go. Let's just rip a piece of it off. There's lots of dead material here, so we should be able to take multiple samples. How do you know it's dead? What about coral? Right? Coral is calcified, but coral is a living thing. Oh, we got two? Or do we need both? Fungal and tissue. I guess we're supposed to take both. How many do we need? Okay, so the chitin appears to be hardened with calcium carbonate. That could be useful if we need to boost our power. Are you kidding me? This is able to metabolize organic compounds to produce fuel. Just drag them to the power panel. Wow. The suit displays how much, how much oxygen or power each sample can produce. No point wasting important samples. With these, we can keep one sample so we can analyze it back on the base, use the other for a power boost. Wow, again. Like, uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked. They're like, we're here, we're looking at the environment. Oh, we gotta, 
Envir you know, exploiting the environment is bad, guys. Oh my god, we need to use this for power. I'm gonna let's let's burn this shit in our reactor so we can keep going. Like I am astonished, actually. Like I did not expect that to be. How do you know? Oh, I see. Shows there. Oh, that uses a little... Okay, well. Um... Alright, well, how does that... So, that looks like it's half of this? No, it's a little bit more. Alright, whatever. I guess we're taking more samples. That seems really... I'm actually... I didn't think they would do that. That, I... That didn't even cross my mind. Sing stock. Are you gonna say something? Okay. I've named these sing stocks for that strange hum they produce. What is precise function, I wonder, aside from fame for me? Well, I guess she couldn't name everything after her. That's what doctors do. They're like, I named this the... Uh, I guess it would be Voss. Ellery's the first name. I'm going to name these Voss stocks. And these Voss fungi. And these Voss shells. And these other things, Voss whatever. I'm going to name everything after myself. Signed, Dr. Ellery Voss. Like, I'm, I'm seriously blown away. Let's take the sample and use it and stick it in our reactor. Like... I can't believe that. I really am blown away. That's pretty impressive. Okay, shelled creature. These creatures glide among the reef stalks with great care and precision. They appear to be grazing on them. Key. Okay. So we're going here, right? Space between the rocks here is thick with stalks. They elaborate patterns as they trace across the reef. Oh, the elaborate patterns they trace across the reef are beautiful. Um, actually, before... Hmm. Nah, it'll be all right. Uh, okay, agile creature. Relationship between the stalks and the creatures and the stalks is unclear, but they camouflage themselves among the amber colonies. And no zooming out, right? I mean, but it doesn't show on the actual map. It's only on our little plot. Which is kind of dumb. Bear Canyon. The rocks here are clear of stalks and other growths. Is their absence a territorial marker or just a side effect of the conditions of these waters? Where are you getting territorial marker from? Like... <laughs> okay. A territorial marker. Like, I can't, I can't believe, I'm, I still can't get over that. We're gonna, the, uh, oh yeah, just take a sample and then shove it into our power plant. Like, okay. That's like the freaking, uh, uh, what was it? Japan was, they got called out or something for whaling. And they're like, no, 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 we're not, uh, we're not whaling. This is, this is research. We just happen to be researching dog food. Or, so, yeah, you know what I mean? We just happen to be researching how to turn whales into commercial products. Like, just wow. Okay. Southern Cavern. Water is still in the yawning entrance to the cavern. See, there you go. Good writing. Yawning entrance. What do you call that? Adjectives, I guess. There are no signs of stalks or other reef life around the entrance. But, again, you used entrance immediately twice there. Descent possible? Hey, Jack. Do we want to descend? You're in my way. Oh, sorry, that was me. That was me, don't be scared. See, this is what I mean about the talking. Because Jack just jumped up in front of the... Ugh. 
front of the monitor. There's my mani cat. So that's good. Well, let's go. I guess. Do we want to go down? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's what this is. I guess we'll go down. Okay, what well, do we follow this up, I guess? Stock patches object, the patchy sunlight coming through the broken cavern roof is enough for, to allow stocks to grow here if that is what they require. Maybe we should eat more of them to see. <sighs> Tall stock. Woo. Tall, bubble coated stock with such. These tall stocks seem to watch over the smaller colonies. I'll start logging notes. Are you are you being metaphorical or they watch over the colonies? Because they're tall or they're like guardians? Like what do you mean? The trees tower over the shrubs, therefore the trees are watching over the shrubs. Like Tall bubble coated stock which sits among reef stock colonies. Jack, I love you, but you are in the way. Uh, covered in wide irising pores. Thesaurus. Soft sunlight, glittering stock. Soft sunlight spills down onto a long, thin stock stretching towards the light. A coating of large glassy bubbles glitters on its skin. Vector clear sample can it oh that's the wrong button. You are my kid in check. Uh, Alright, let's Lichen Signal. Ah oh, crap. I didn't know signal was a category, I'm sorry. Uh let's get another one so we can shove it into our power plant. These gaseous bubbles are intriguing. Okay. The interior gas is at an elevated pressure. If this membrane ruptured, the sac would screech as it depressurized. Yes. Is this part of the stock's communication system we've seen across the reef? Why? Wait, I have an idea. Maybe they're pressurized because otherwise they would collapse due to the external pressure. Try deploying one by that block tunnel over there. I want to see how the stocks react. Just drag one over. We're gonna explode this thing near something else. Jack, would you move? I, I love you. I don't want you rubbing your teeth against the edge of the monitor. You're okay, well, you are purring very cute though. <sighs> Interestingly enough, it says, well, do we go there? I guess we could go there. Clogged tunnel? Stocks mesh across the cavern here, hardened to a near solid wall of tubes and plates. You can't go? You could go up to it, but you can't. Okay, well. Spherical gas filled membrane produced by stocks. Ah, so it's more oxygen. Where do you want to deploy it? Right here? Okay, good job. See, there you go. You blew up stuff. They're attracted. Those bubbles must be some kind of signal system. I'll call them shrill sacks for that squeak. Oh my god, I'm so smart. We can use these. We can use these to get through the heavy growth ahead. Yep. Let's get moving. Just remember, environmentally friendly at all times. We must not hurt any of this wildlife. Rom, 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 rom. And then let's use this. Oh, these could be used as bombs. Like, I am... <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous, if I'm being honest. Let's harvest... Harvest all the delicious... You know? Just wow. Like, just wow. Blind corner. The cavern curves away in both directions here. It's hard to see the way ahead. I mean, we can only see this far anyway. It 
so I guess you're wondering where we are heading. Um, are we actually going in a specific place? There's a way station just north of here on a finger of this reef. I want to find it. Okay. My shuttle touched down just hours ago at a floating research base to, the, base to the south. That's where I found this suit. Fine. I'm here looking for a, for Dr. Mine Nomura, chasing a message all the way from Earth. For a friend, please. I must sound mad coming out here to a planet in the tail of Scorpius just to follow a message. Great personal risk to myself with surely no personal payoff. Wait, you, you do know where we are, don't you? No. But how? We are on Gleese, whatever, a supposedly unremarkable word, world if it wasn't for all this life. Somehow the Exoplanet Extraction Corps must have passed it by, but how did Mine know to come here? There you go, Exoplanet Extraction Corps. Is that why she contacted me to verify her discovery? But where then where is she? I mean, I'm sure she's alive. This game is non-violent, even though we're freaking exploding animals for our own personal gain. Look, let's find that way station. Then I can start piecing together what's going on. Fine by me. The cavern near us here in small eddies of water twirl in the silt. Key. <sighs> the current can be felt drifting through the cavern entrance, bringing with it warm clouds of silt. Again, use silt twice, like very quickly. Ascent possible. You know, this kind of reminds me of, I never played it, but um, uh, Unlimited Saga. It's like a board game, like feel which is fine I don't mind is there whatever I'm not gonna worry about going around the other way you know stocks of this kind seem to produce different bubbles depending on the nearby stocks they are protectors of their colonies based on what I can't help but feel some unseen processes shaping the growth patterns of these of this reef? What invisible borders am I crossing? How... How do you know that? Doesn't matter. A uh, glittering stalk. This thin stalk sits on the bed of other growths, exuding bright bubbles through its pores. Did we not read that already? I guess we did. Oh, it's probably all the same. And then what? Is this the same sample? We'll get another one, I suppose. We can always, uh... Throw it at something. Scattered boulders and steep rifts of the southern reef suggest a violent geological past. Um, isolated stalk. Unlike the other specimens, this large stalk sits alone away from the lower beds. It is hard to tell if this is the beginning of a colony or its end. I don't know. Let's go exploit it and find out. We'll go peel its calcified skin off and shove it into our power plant. Like, <laughs> it's just... Oh my gosh, wow. The stalks are more sparse between these rock outcrops. This might be the easiest path north, if I can clear the way. Yep, here we go. Okay. I'm not gonna click on that one, I guess. I don't. We'll just try going north. We'll. Um. Yeah, at, at this point, it's like. Exploring is. Um. How to put it? Almost discouraged. It's disincentivized, right? Because. Of how claustrophobic everything is and how much of a pain in the ass it is to use this. Okay, well, deep forest, the stalks are so thick. Sea of Amber, waving fingers that must be cleared before you could pass through. Of course. You just have to remember to... 
Uh, see, you scared away something. Don't worry, it's for the... It's for the greater good. Just like the... Just like the PETA, um... Just like the PETA CEO. You wouldn't want to... You know. It's okay when you do it. That's right. Uh, shelled creature, delicate set of feeding appendages beneath the creature's cell. shell seem to scrape the outer membrane of the stalks away. Okay, what about this one? Tall stalk. Some creatures target these tall stalks directly, perhaps because they keep them away from the other softer stalks nearby. I guess. Forest clearing, navigating these dense growths is like finding your way in a labyrinth, moving from clearing to clearing with little sense of what's ahead. That's how I feel. Yeah. We're just doing... Doing what we do for reasons. Growth patterns of the stalks are just complex territorial network. Are we underestimating the complexity of these life forms? Are you serious? I bet this one has, um... You think this one has... Yep. How do the tall stalks produce these strange screeching sacks? I'm sure it's just going to give us another one of these. Okay. We'll get another one anyway. And the... Oh, okay. So it is... Shelled creature. Occasionally when the creature scrapes the stalks too aggressively, they retract and let out a defensive signal to nearby colonies. Alright. Oh, that's the way. That's the way we want to go. That's the one we blowed up. Seemed to be some tolerance for this creature scraping by the stalks. They only warn the creature when it cuts too deeply. Signal stock, tall, what are you gonna say? I'm gonna call these signal stocks for the signaling role they play in the stock ecology. <sighs> All right, okay. You're so, you're so creative, Dr. Ellery Voss. I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, I, I know it sounds, man, I'm just like, I'm already like, nah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's it's all the same. It's super tedious. Um, maybe that's why I'm kind of like doing doing this. I'm just like I am bored. Um, and it's sad because it's supposed to be like, oh, look at this amazing. Look at this ma amazing system. It's like, oh no, but you have to click on it and read the same similar things like seven to ten times before it before it names it, and then and then what? Oh, it's named. And oh, oh, did you, oh, look at that! Look at that! Did you see what it just did there? It it scraped too deep, and then it emitted a thing. That would be something if I wasn't, if I hadn't had to basically read the same freaking thing like 30 times already. I'm talking about all the different creatures. Let's go this way. Clear path. East and west are stalks as far as the eye can see. They fade off into the silt like the towers of a miniature city. Metaphor. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I assume we're gonna keep going north. That's where they said, right? At, at this point, I'm just like, I don't care. Twin stones, these two boulders are covered with tiny stalks, a coating of amber fur waving in the currents. Are we gonna have to blow something else up to get through? Forest edge, last line of thick stalks before the sandy plains of the central reef. What did I say?
That's it, we are through. This place is overwhelming. So many new species. I'm glad it's one of us, because... This is the central reef. I saw in Mania's maps that the shelf flattens out here. Okay. Alright, let's keep going north. Rippling silt. Ripples of silt bounce sunlight back up through the water, giving it a golden glow. Dr. Ellery Voss, the third lord of all humans. Like, I mean, it's... Like, this is basic shit. Silt. Amber. It's like, okay, let me... Silt. Um, I have to... I mean, don't get me wrong. It's like, as a writer, if you had to write... I, I sympathize. Writing a, a land... You know, a description for every single freaking one of these things. Oh my god. How many lines? You're talking... You know, how many? 30, 40, 50? Just basically all describing the same shit? It's like, of course. Rippling silt. The silt ripples through the water. Uh, it moves like a wave. Um, oh my god, let me let me find my thesaurus. Like how many how many ways can I say that the silt ripples? Like I I get it. I get it, but it is monotony. Center of the reef is flat and sandy with few rocks to attach to the stalks. Struggle what? With few rocks to attach to, comma, the stalks struggle to seed these waters. There it is. I see the way station ahead. Good. Oh, I thought you were going to talk more. Way station, a way station set up by Mine Nomura. It's seen better days, but it still functions beneath the coating of stalks. How long has it been here? Also, what's a way station? This place is looking a little worse for wear. Let me see if I could find an access port. Oh, well, this would be a good place to stop once she asks us some dumb shit. Mine never did take care of her equipment. Some things never change. Sorry. Give me a sec. I'm just trying to... Like, what is it that you're doing? Got it. Okay, we should be able to access any data stored here. Just open the terminal and take a look. <sighs> this is where we get the, the plot of the game. We have to, by the way. We can't move. Spoofing user, Dr. Mine Nomura, last access history cleared. Log download, yes, no. Power oxygen. What, this feeds us power? Map data. Okay, why? So first off, you're a xenobiologist, not a freaking hacker. Spoofing user. All right. She deliberately left a way for you to find her here. But now she's hiding her tracks? Come on. Oh, here. Here's this letter. Come find me. Alright, whatever. Great. Let's download the map data, I guess. Complete data released to pilot's console. Logs have been cleared. I expected that, given the secrecy Mine seems to be operating under. Which is really funny because you're not. But the map data mentions something Mine calls the Bloom out across the northern rift. I guess we're going there. We just keep heading north, presumably. She's been going back and forth to something there, studying it. A unique species, perhaps. Mine, what were you doing here? Why were you keeping this discovery from the world? From me. 
See, there you go. Ego again. I'm talking to myself again, or to whatever you are. See, we're a second thought. Sorry, I don't mean... Let's head back to the research base. I need to think. No, we can keep going. That's fine. I don't mind. With this way station operational, we could call it the base's retrieval drone from the utility panel. Alright. This drone will be able to pick us up from any area we've got map data for. Which is why you'll never run out of power and oxygen. It'll automatically... Let's head to the base. I got to fig I've got a lot to figure out. Right, so when you run out of power, that's that's the override. That's what that is. Oh, it sends you back to base. Oh, you silly. Let's not do that again. That was too risky. All right, so so what? Oh, this is sync. Okay. And this is the drone? Link? Oh, I guess you... Really? I couldn't just click rest, request retrieval first. I have to click link? Like, why? Again, it's just you're making it... It's really interesting. You could say a sign of intelligent people is that they try and simplify things. Smart people make complex things simple. Dumb people try to sound like they try and use big words and stuff. They try to make the simple complicated. I rest my case. Sorry, devs. I, I I, mean, I'm not saying they're dumb. I'm not saying they're dumb. I, I was saying they're dumb, but I take it back. Um, I understand they want to have a minimalist thing, and then they're like, well, let's give the user more to do. I don't know. Maybe that's what they were thinking. I can't put words into their mouth. I don't know. Transitioning. Funny. Safe mode, resyncing with Baikal OS, downtime 4.2 hours, whatever that said. All right, what is this crap? Hey, are you back online as opposed to what? Guess? Pretty sharp work for a biologist if I do say so myself. Wow, you're complimenting yourself already, are you? Hooking up that strange casing of yours to the base took some work. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. And the OS here does not play nicely with whatever you are. But you should have access to, to select subsystems of the stack now. Wow, yeah. Oh my god, you're so amazing. You could do it all, girl. You go slay, queen, slay. Minet looks to have repurposed some of them, so not everything is functional. Why would Minet have not already done this? Comms are shot, the generator is only partially working, and one of the retrieval drones is missing, which means she's got it. But I booted up the dive base mapping system. It's sample storage. The lab is also in line with analysis tools and an inter integrated taxonomy for logging creatures. See, there you go. Don't talk about releasing them back into the wild when we're going to dissect them. Take a look, I've already logged the creatures we discovered on our last dive. For any log creatures, I'll also put sample requests in their taxonomy entries. I also made sure to eat a bunch of fried chicken and throw the bones into the ocean. <laughs> to fill those requests, just find and transfer the samples to the lab, then analyze them. I can then use that data to add to the creature study and claim fame for myself. I mean, um, we need to register these species. Head down to the lab level and take a look. I'll also mark sample requests on the dive map. That way we can grab key samples for our studies while we're out in the ocean. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And we're going back out soon. While you're offline, I spot a signal, a suit transponder. Like why could we not have seen that out there? You can see its location on the dive map. I want to find it. Oh, all right. A suit transponder means a suit, and a suit means Mene. Is she the only one out here? I guess so. The I'll need your help. That suit takes both of us to pilot, and it's the only one I've got. Where's the self-destruct? 
Once you are done exploring the base, load into the dive map. We can head out from there. You know she's not even curious about what we're are what we are. No questions or anything, right? Just do my bidding, slave. Uh, uh, let's save, let's save and quit, and then we'll look through this more. I honestly, uh, I'm actually really disappointed, or I'm starting to get there. Um, because I, I figured I was just making. I didn't think it would start to get so fucking boring. Um, you know. I. I was really expecting, like... I'm, I'm the dude that, in those, in those games, I click on everything, I read all the flavor texts, and I'm just like... I don't want to. I don't want to in this game. It's not even, like, I'm, I'm... I'm being a little bit hyperbolic with all the Dr. Ellery Voss bullshit, right? But... Um... But it's just like, you go here, you read another fucking synonym for rippling sand. You go here, oh, fungal stalks swaying gently in the thing, okay. Oh, amber waves, oh, okay. Oh, warm currents, oh, okay. Like, how, like, like sweet baby Jesus, how much more is there? Like, this is, I mean, I know I, I take my time with shit, but it's like, my god, this is, it's supposed to take like five hours, up to ten, five to ten hours, right? And I'm just like, all right, at this point, I'm like, all right, let's, let's get through it. You know, let's just, let's keep moving. You know, we have a lot of work to do. Like that, it's, this is not fun. This is work, but all right, guys. Well, that is, can I save from here? Oh, good. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. We'll see. I mean, it, we will see. Um, <laughs> I had a thought, like, would I rather play more uh, below or more of this? And honestly, probably rather below. Because um, this is boring. At least below is... I felt something. This is, you know, again, like, I'd rather feel... <sighs> well, that's... I say that now. If I went back to below, I'd probably feel differently. I'd be like, son of a bitch. You know, um, but that's it for today, guys. You know, like I said, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um, uh, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent. Let me hear them. I do read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them. Uh, I haven't even drank any of my coffee, really. Um, what's your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, I'm gonna go with the uh, the cat in the in the heated cat bed because that's. That's good. That makes me feel feel good. Um, especially with Manny still kind of recovering, like his leg. I'm hoping it's just he twisted his ankle or something rather than arthritis. But we'll see. Either way, I think it'll help because uh, you know heat promotes blood flow, which promotes healing factors and healing in general and stuff. So. Um, that's my unique puzzle moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.